move on to the sun salutation part of our practice. This is putting several poses together with our breath in a, in a vinyasa that it's called. So it's great to heat the body to get our heart pumping a little bit. A great idea for you to learn these salutations and do them daily. So making them part of your routine as far as, as much as even brushing your teeth. So let's go ahead and turn our chair around. You want your chair, it's very important that all four of the legs of the chair, the feet of the chair, are on your mat and as far forward as you can to give you much, as much space as possible on your mat. We'll go through a standing series, and if this isn't available for you, there is a sitting um, salutation that I will show, and you can click to that on the video if you wanted to, to so that you could do these even if you can't stand. So let's begin keeping in mind as you practice these that you want to keep focused on the breath. If the breath becomes labored or choppy, that means you need to back off a little bit. That's okay. When I first started practicing yoga, the breathing alone was very different for me and that was kind of challenging. So if you're not able to take nice fluid breaths because of any, any sort of whatever you're experiencing, back off a little bit and just even sit for a moment until you can maybe um, do a few other things or maybe that's just enough for you. So we'll start slow through the poses and get you acclimated to what the poses are and then we'll kind of move them with breath a little bit more. Always listening to your body if something doesn't feel right, modify. I will go through some modifications and let you know of proper alignment. So the first couple rounds will just take nice and slow. So standing in front of your chair, again forgetting about what everyone else is doing and come focused in on what you're feeling. It's very important. So finding a focal point as we move through these poses, always find a focal point to direct your energy to. Letting the arms just relax down to the floor. Again, we're feet. We're just taking the hands up over the head with the breath. Breathing in, inhale. Nice, full body reaching. As you exhale, let the head, hands come down to the chair. Bending the knees and letting the head drop. So in these forward bends, we always want to bend the knees unless you are very flexible and can straighten the, the legs. Keep the knees bent, let the head drop. Relax the shoulders. Step the right foot back first. Taking a lunge position or a modified warrior pose, taking the left foot maybe forward if you need to, to make sure that the knee is stacked over the ankle. Very important that we're not doing this. That's very stressful on the knee. Take the foot, just like a table would have its leg directly stacked under the knee. Roll the shoulders back. Engage your core muscles by bringing the belly Slightly in and up, shoulders roll back away from the ears, and bring the neck in alignment with the spine. So maybe just kind of move around and notice what you're feeling here, and then really taking a few breaths to come fully into the pose. Breathing in, exhaling, we're going to move to the next position, which is a modified down dog position. Stepping that left foot back and bringing the feet hip width, bend the knees, and again, just like we did with that tabletop position earlier, is pulling the hips back, maybe for sure, um, bending the knees to start with, and then if you have the flexibility to straighten the legs, but most likely your legs are going to be bent. Let the head drop between the arms, pull the hips back. So we're not, a lot of people when they start doing this, they'll be over here. We want to pull the hips back, like you're trying to touch the bottom, your bottom to the wall behind you. That means the knees need to be very bent and the arms straight. Coming into plank position next, leaning forward. So the shoulders are stacked over the wrist. Core is very engaged here. So not letting the body pull down like this. We want the body to be nice and tall and straight and supported like a board. Breathing on the exhalation, take your hips back again into that down dog position, bending the knees, arms straight. Stepping the right foot forward now under your chair. Adjust yourself so you have some distance between your legs, again in the lunging on the other side. Roll the shoulders back, core is engaged, no tension in the neck and shoulders. Take a few breaths here, find your focal point. Breathe in, and as you exhale, we're going to step that left foot forward, adjust the feet under the hips, and again, taking a forward bend, letting the head drop, 
completely. The knees bent, the hips over the feet if you can. And on the next breath in, bending the knees as you come up. Very important to use your legs and not just flinging up with your back. We want to bend the knees and then bring the head up and then push the feet away to bring your self back up. Exhaling, hands coming to the heart. Going into the second side, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, folding forward, letting the head completely drop. Stepping the left foot back first this time on the inhalation. Exhaling back to down dog. Feet hip width. Bending knees, hips back. Breathing in, letting, come, letting yourself come into plank position. Exhaling back into down dog. Left foot stepping forward. And exhaling, step and fold. Bending knees as you come up. Push the floor away with your feet. Exhaling, bring your hands down to your heart. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Right foot steps back. So we're alternating, alternating the left and the right foot. We step back first with the right, back into down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale to down dog. So we step first back with that right foot. Now we're going to step the right foot forward. So it's right, right, left, left, so that we're alternating how we step back and step forward. Exhaling as you fold. Inhale brings you back up. Exhaling, hands coming to the heart. So we're moving through those salutations from one pose to the next, allowing the breath to move our body. So I really want you to think about the breath moving our body on the next two sets, or the next set. And just think of yourself as a well-oiled machine moving through these poses. A great thing to do to get your body, um, get all range of motion. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Step the left foot back first this time. Inhale. Back to down dog as you exhale. Inhale into plank position. Exhaling back to down dog. Step the left foot forward, inhale. Exhale, step and fold. Come back to standing, inhale. Exhaling, hands coming to the heart. Now we're gonna do one more set. If you feel fatigued, go ahead and sit. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Right foot stepping back. Inhale, lower those hips. Back to down dog as you exhale. Bend the knees. Plank position, inhale. Back to down dog as you exhale. Right foot stepping forward. Exhaling as you fold. Inhale, the breath brings you back up. And exhaling, hands coming back to the heart. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Left foot stepping back. Back to down dog as you exhale. Inhale into a plank position. Back to down dog. Stepping left foot forward. Inhale. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, come back to standing. Exhaling, bring your hands to your heart. Let your arms relax down to the side and just walk out your feet. Notice how you're feeling. Notice the energy that that has created in your body. Was it too much? Was it not enough? So the next time you can practice, maybe doing some more. If this wasn't totally, if this was not available to you to do these positions in a standing position, go ahead and click to the modified version and the seated salutations and we'll guide you through a way that you can steal, even in a wheelchair, even in another chair, or even thinking about doing these poses will be beneficial to you.